Hello, my name is David Lepore. I'm the Director of Instruction for Colleton River Plantation Club. Today's tip talks about hitting a distance wedge shot, also known as a finesse wedge or even a half swing. Sometimes people ask me when they hit this shot, and the answer is when your full swing is too much, that's when you do this golf swing. Now I just happen to be here in the, the, the beautiful 18th hole here at the Nicholas course, and I've got about a 70 yard shot to the flag. It's not a full swing, so it's going to be a half swing, and in my particular case, it's going to be a sand wedge. I've got a 55 degree sand wedge, and so as far as our ball position is concerned and hitting a, a good shot, we're going to ask you to play the ball in the middle of your stance. We want your feet to be shoulder width. If you want to flare your left toe or your lead toe, go right ahead. That'll help promote the hip move through. I have my normal golf grip. Sometimes people like to grip down on the club a little bit to have a little more control or to not hit it as far, and I'm okay with that. You're more than welcome to do that. And then in my practice swing, I'm going to do what's called a three turn back. One, two, three. Where my lead arm is straight, it's parallel to the ground, and I have a full wrist cock right here. I go back to zero, which is impact, and then one, two, three, four, five. So this is considered a three turn back, five turn through. And that's how you dial it down and hit a little half swing. So let me go ahead and give it a try. All right, so that's how you go about hitting your finesse shots. Dial it in with your lob wedge, sand wedge, pitching wedge, um, and any other short iron that you might have for helping you with distance control. Good luck with that, and I'll see you next time.